Hey guys, this is Adin here from Recommended.com. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install WordPress and cPanel manually step by step. Welcome back. In order to install WordPress into cPanel, you need to have a cPanel login. To do so, you just need to register a new domain name. You can refer back to our previous tutorial in which we have shown you how to buy a new domain name using the name chip with a very interesting discount. We have already booked this domain and now we need to install the WordPress into it. As you can see here, it's, it's not activated yet because we have not installed any script into it. So we'll be installing WordPress into this domain. Good. The first step in this process is to get WordPress first. We need to download it from the WordPress platform. All the links are provided below the video. So let's hit get WordPress. This will take us to the download center. Make sure you are downloading the latest edition from the official website. Right, so here we have WordPress 5.6. Just click install. We have already downloaded it, so there is no need to re-download it. Just open the file or the folder where we have downloaded the file. Good, so we have downloaded the WordPress file successfully. We'll move on to the second step in which we need to log in into the C panel. So after logging in into the C panel, you will be redirected into this dashboard in which we have the various options of the C panel and all the web options to control your domain and your web hosting service. Good. What we need is the first option in which we have files. We will use file manager. So just click on it. Right. This will open a new window in which you have the root files of your web hosting here you can select the folder which in which you would like to add the file so if you do not have these folders just check our previous tutorial in which we have shown you how to add a domain into your web hosting service or a second domain okay so select the folder where you want to install the wordpress uh, script right next we hit upload well done a new window also will open and here you will be able to uploading your files into the directory or the address you you have specified in your web hosting service great so make sure it is on the correct folder so that's for the english.com great let's select file you can drop files in here or just select file here we'll be selecting the wordpress file that we have downloaded previously great select it and click open okay, voila as you can see the file is being uploaded just be patient until it finish great so it has finished uploading as you can see it let's now head back to the file manager and hit the reload button in here so just hit it okay, voila as you can see here we have the new folder which is WordPress 5.6. Right click on it, a new window will appear which we have the different options. What we need is to extract it here. So hit extract. Select the place you want to extract it. So we we'll want it extracted here. Just hit extract files. Right, these are the different files of the zipped file. So just click close and voila you have your new file in here let's right click on this again and hit delete confirm great has been deleted and we have our new folder that's the wordpress script great now we need to select all the files and the folders so just hit select all from the top menu all they are selected Right click on them and move. 
move them to the appropriate file so we'll delete this one we want them to be moved to the folder english.com great hit move okay voila so fast great and now you have all your script ready within this folder if we return back to our domain refresh it you can still see that it has the same message but our folder has appeared in which we have the index of the files as you can see now change has happened to our folders and we still have just the index great let's return back to the file manager and to the folder where we have specified it into the domain so what we need to do now is to select all of these files and folders just hit select all from the top bar in here right click on them and move this one okay. this one move now we need to specify the folder we want them to be in which is english.com not in the wordpress we want them to move there great and hit move files well done it's done if we check the folder english.com they are in there next we need to delete the wordpress folder just right click and hit delete great well done now we are done with the file manager if we return back to our domain name and hit refresh we can see we have the new login panel of the wordpress and things are going right now we need to move on to the second step in which we must create a database user for our domain and then link them right to do so we head back to the c panel dashboard and now we'll scroll down into the databases you can see them here what we need to do is head on to ms ql databases right as you can see here we have the option of creating a new database modify and the current database which are available and at the bottom we have database users good so we need first of all to create a database select the database you want to always remember to save your database names database usernames and the password in order to use them if you face any problems or, or for future use after selecting the name so we just hit create database and voila add it to the database the one that we have created let's go back and check next step is to, to create a user and a password for this database next you can create a password using the password generator you can have some advanced option you can choose the length make it the maximum which is 18 good you can also use symbols numbers and symbols you can generate a new one by selecting generate password just copy it as we said hit i have copied the password in a safe place and hit use the password great it will be copied automatically and as you can see it is very strong 100 percent next hit create user have the option to save it in here and voila we have successfully created a new username just copy the name in here and paste it into the notepad good so now we have saved all the details and the account password and usernames we can go back now what we need to do is to link the username that we have created with the database to do so we just scroll down to the bottom of the database window and here 
as you can see add user to database select the database that we have created the username first of all select the username you can hit the arrow and select other usernames if you have multiple otherwise move on to the second tab in which we have database and also se select the one appropriate you want to link it to that specific user here we'll be using the second one good now the this user will be linked to this database great let's hit add cool at the top you will have a verification we'll have the user and the database that we have created so make sure they match each other great so here just hit the, the all privileges check it and we need to uncheck the drop one so we'll make sure you uncheck this when finished just hit make changes great success everything is done so you save it the new username and match it with the new database great now we are done with the username and the database we can head back to the domain that we have purchased in which we have installed this wordpress widget you will see this only if you upload the wordpress script into the in the root folder of the domain name which is this files and folders right now we can start configuring our wordpress script using the wizard head back to the domain name right here you will select the language you want to install wordpress with so here we'll keep it default using the, the united states english right continue well done next you will need to provide your database name username password and database host and table prefix if you want to run more than one wordpress in a single database so let's go good so here we need to fill in all the information in here with the details and the password and the usernames that we have copied previously it's that simple just head back to the notepad and copy everything and put it in here so here the last one the database host which must be as default local host if you require any changes then just uh, you, this information will be provided by your web hosting service great next you move on to the table prefix so if you are planning to install multiple wordpress installation in a single database then you need to change this by adding some other characters or any other names to identify your different uh, database great so i'll keep it as it is and hit uh, submit well done everything is going right so sparky installation is accomplished successfully so let's run the installation now you can specify your site title your site username password which could be generated in here your email and your search engine visibility you can discourage engines from indexing this site so all this is to install the wordpress properly and provide this information in order to run your or in order to start running your site cool you can change all this information later after logging in the same here we recommend that you save all the information before you proceed and use different password and uh, logins in order to avoid any piracy to your account good so we'll fill in all these details okay so now we have filled in all the details which are needed the site title the username password the strong one must be green in here and you are recommended to store it in a secure location next you just add your email and here also you need to double check your email address before continuing good hit install wordpress et voila the installation has been configured successfully and wordpress has been installed 
here featured you will find your username which has been registered with and the password that we have chosen before and you have the option to log in so let's hit login the login dashboard appears and now you are required to enter your username or your email address great all you need to do you can check remember me for or not to be asked again on the coming login times so just give it as default and hit login save the credentials in your browser and be patient as you can see we said you are on this domain and here it comes the wordpress is loading and voila well done congratulations now your dashboard is featured and the website is on we can click on visit the website www.rackmedia.com congratulations here is the website featured with your domain name and that's your first visit for the site now we can start adding your content and enjoying the journey hope this helped you configure your web wordpress website through the cpanel environment properly keep tuned for coming tutorials which will be guiding you step by step on how to get a, a professional wordpress website till then this is your host Azadeen. peace and with this we have reached the end keep tuned for our coming tutorial thanks so much for watching i hope you have a great day and if you have any comments or suggestions please have them below and subscribe if you want more helpful videos like this see you around thank you for watching if you like this video do consider sharing it click on the like button and go ahead and leave us a comment below we'd love to hear from you and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and the notifications to get the latest tutorials that will inspire, empower and connect you www.rackmedia.com